Let's see, we got to get to it. We can't even really mess around with Dave Chappelle. So we saw Dave Chappelle get tackled by this 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 insane, crazy person. Because not even to say just because he attacked Dave Chappelle, it's just the way that it was set up, the things that he had on his way to attack Dave Chappelle. So I want to play the video real quick. I'm sure you've seen it, but just for context, context sake, let's just look at the video. And they beat your ass. They beat your ass, Damn. Hey, back up, back up. Back up. Back up. So I thought that was the video, but that was the video of the guy get wheeled out of there. We, we see it. He tackled Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle's team came. Somebody was slipping and tripping. Then they went out in the back and they proceeded to stomp this guy out, which they should have. And uh, I don't know if a lot of people knew this. He had a gun, knife, you know, tri a, 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 a combo. Like, I know back in the day they had the, the bayonets. They had the knives on the end. Guess we got to get in close quarter combat. But think about this. This guy really ran on stage with this thing for Dave Chappelle. And I know what you know, fun and go, oh, you know, everything's good. But just imagine if this guy was a little bit more slick or maybe his intent was really to harm and possibly kill Dave Chappelle. That could have been a quick, easy thing. You know who would have been liable for that? Netflix. Because this was at a Netflix festival for comedians and comics. There's plenty of questions. How does this guy get this type of shit in here? Who does he who does he work for? What is he a part of a group? Is he a lone wolf? Is he mad at Dave for possible old trans? Who knows? Because I can tell you this right now. I thought about this uh, a couple of days or yesterday. I was like, if it ever came out, like if this guy actually harmed Dave Chappelle, not just tackled him to the ground and got his ass beaten back, because we already seen what the guy looked like. His arm is nearly broken off the hinge, his eyes fucked up. He looked like he just got out of a five round UFC heavyweight championship fight and he took the L. Looks like a weird guy. Got the nails painted black, the thrasher type of hoodie. On. Weird, weirdo looking guy. But could you imagine if this guy did some Dave Chappelle, and he said he was doing it in the the vein uh, for you know trans people and trans rights? That only made it worse for trans people. As far as the jokes go, now I ain't talking about violence towards trans people. I ain't talking about that at all. I'm talking about just the jokes towards trans people would have been a, ten, a million times worse. Because what else? What also everybody else brought up was this is Will Smith's fault. Will Smith has made it to where people could just run up on stage and attack comedians. This is a, these are two different things. Now, I don't even know. I saw Marcellus Wiley doing a thing, and he made it seem like Dave Chappelle was, at this point, wasn't even doing stand-up. But at this point, Dave Chappelle was, um, he was introducing, like, a band or introducing some type of musical act before this guy ran up. So there was no offensive jokes being thrown around. This guy premeditatedly set this up. This guy had the knife-gun combination ready. And if you would have used it for Dave Chappelle, like I said earlier, Netflix would have been in a world of shit. And I'm sure after Dave joked about it, you know, he said, you know, that was a trans man and this and that because he's in the moment. He's a professional, just like Chris Rock. When Chris Rock got the shit said on by Will Smith, very professional. Get in my comedian bag, get back to it. But I can guarantee you when Chappelle got off that stage, he had a conversation with somebody at the higher Netflix who was security. We check like all this shit, getting, all these boxes getting checked off. Because in that moment, there's no way this random guy with a gun knife should be on stage attacking Dave Chappelle. And like I said, everybody was, you know, blaming the whole Will Smith thing. And I get it. That's the most recent thing in memory we've seen of a guy standing up and slapping a, community, a comedian for making jokes. And everything after that will be attributed to, oh, Will Smith has sparked this idea in people's head. And who knows, maybe this guy has a fucking manifesto where he saw Will Smith slap Chris Rock and he said, that inspired me to run up on any comedian. I just like, that's that, that's very well possible. I don't think so, but let's not like comedians ain't even getting ran up on. You get, Comedians will tell you stories about people running up on stage on it. Because ain't no new thing. It ain't something that just popped up out of the blue because Will Smith made it popular. No, no, no. It's something that's been going on out here in the world. So I'm just glad that Dave Chappelle, you see, I got the Dave, the Dave picture back there. I'm just glad that, you know, Dave Chappelle wasn't harmed by this goddamn gun knife. Like I said, I'm assuming, obviously, the gun part doesn't work, but that knife part looks very much like it could do potential damage to you in uh, in many different ways. So that was the one of the, 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 there ain't really too much to say about it, because as soon as, you know, uh, 
the guy ran off in a couple of days. People, Chappelle's people stumbled and bumbled, and they got their foot under him. You know, they they takes his two stepped all over his face in the back, and we saw the big. We, we saw it. He he's done for. I'm I'm curious to see what kind of charges get brought up. Like, is this an a, a, a aggravated assault with a deadly weapon charge? Like, what type of charge do you get when you're found attacking a prom? Not gotta be a prominent person, just anybody in a situation like that. And then you're found to have the goddamn gun knife on your hand because, like I said. If he had it in his hand at the time, that shit could have went a completely different way. So I wonder uh, what charge will be brought to this young man. Uh, even uh, people, Some people say, you know, the beating's enough. Now, the beating ain't enough. You got a gun knife, you run up on stage on me, something got to go. And I would like to see further investigation. Like, what's up with security? Uh, I saw people saying, like, there, there was extensive checking. Like, and I, I, when you do go to Dave Chappelle shows, they say it's like, you know, hey, you got to... Like, most comedians, most big-time comedians nowadays... When you come to my shows, you got to put that phone in the bag at the front desk. You know, there's no phones getting checked in. So, like, how are these phones? First of all, how are the phones get in to even record the shit? And how did the guy get the gun knife? That's, if I was Dave Chappelle, these things I'd be asking Netflix. These things I'd be wanting to know how this is happening at such an upscale, large event uh, as yours here at Netflix is a joke comedy festival.